New at 5, human trafficking continues to be a problem in our nation, even right here in Oklahoma. Today, students at Rogers State University got information that could potentially save them or someone they love. It's a very important conversation hosted by the Oklahoma Commission on the Status of Women. Fox 23's Amy Hybels joins us from campus now with how to recognize the early signs of human trafficking. Amy. Well, Shay and Sarah, students out here had a chance to hear a firsthand account from a survivor, and they also had a chance to learn what human trafficking is not. Oh my God, they got Amanda! Unlike the glamorized version of human trafficking portrayed in movies like Taken, experts say human trafficking in Oklahoma usually involves people who know each other. So it's someone, a family member, that's trafficking another family member. Leslie Klingenpeel, executive director of The Spring, says she also sees a lot of boyfriending in which potential victims are targeted through social media. They're going to start a relationship, build that trust, and become their boyfriend, right? Something that they think cares about them, and then they force them into the commercial sex industry. In the state of Oklahoma, the National Human Trafficking Hotline identified 99 cases involving 180 victims in 2021, the majority involving sex trafficking. RSU junior Abigail Ramos is a criminal justice major, but she also works in retail. We asked her what she hopes to learn from the conversation. Well, it's scary whenever you're standing next to a woman and a man, and the man will not let the woman answer any questions and you knowing about human trafficking. So what are you hoping to learn here today? The signs. Definitely the signs, what to, what to look for to be sure. Survivor Layla Freeman says she was trafficked after marrying into a very wealthy family in another state. During the day I was um, tied up. Men were brought in in the afternoon into the end of the action time. Um, I was untied and then I was supposed to be mom, caretaker provider for the children when they came home from school. Layla, who escaped that relationship, is the founder and CEO of the nonprofit Light of Hope, has this warning for women. Wealth, power, and control are huge factors when you're in a relationship. If you are dating, you must, you must, you must understand that those are big red flags. Now, as far as what to look for, we were told that changes in behavior, changes in appearance, or a new group of friends, or a brand new romantic relationship that seems to move too quickly. We also learned that uh, a person does not need to be moved or uh, transported in any way in order for this to be considered human trafficking. Now, we've got a number for you to call if you're in trouble or someone you love is in trouble. That number is 855-677-2288. In Claremore, covering news that matters, I'm Amy Hybels, Fox 23 News.